be here in the North Shore. It's, uh, it's only five minutes to home, so it's just really yeah. good. And, and I just want to say another thing. I have been just so proud of you all for the last 24 months. I mean, you think about what happened, you know, it was literally about two years ago right now, uh, one of the most monumental pieces of the legislation was introduced for Act 10 here in Wisconsin. And we were literally the eye of the storm here in the North Shore. I mean, if you think about Alberta Darling, if she would have gone down, we, the, the Democrats would have controlled the state center for like a year and a half. And so what you guys did here to get Alberta Darling elected, I mean, Mike Tate, you've heard me say it before, lives about three miles from here. I live about three miles the other way. This was ground zero, and we kicked their butt, and, we, and they wanted to get this seat so bad, but it was really a lot of hard work from a lot of good people, so thank you and God bless you for all that. About 22 years ago, I was actually chairman of the uh, North Shore branch, and I just want to thank Lori for doing such a good job the last year. Lori and the board, you guys did a great job, but Lori, thank you for serving. Our, our party is much better off with your efforts. Thank you. <laughs> One thing I will say, though, is um, a lot of people were kind of sad about um, what happened on November 6th, and obviously we all were, but I, 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 I gave a... a, a an interview with CBS 58 the next day, and I said, you know what, I'm an optimistic person, and when I woke up this morning, I realized we have the largest assembly majority in my lifetime, we have the largest conservative state senate majority, well, I have a pretty conservative state senate, and we also have the most courageous and popular governor in the country leading us in Scott yes. Walker. <laughs> so that's why... What we did on June 5th of last year was crucial because you know the eyes of the world are watching and we delivered right here in the North Shore and we won we won that state. We actually increased our margins for 2010. So thank you again for all your hard work with that. But we are a political group and there are you know we, we, we can never we can never rest and uh, I know we're gonna have speakers here, but we have three very important races and I, I know they're gonna be representatives. Um, from those races, but you know, I, I saw Don Primore somewhere, but we got to get him elected to DPI head. We also, um, she had a very good night last night, but Pat Rogensack, she, she, we need to get her elected. And the analogy I like to use is, you think about our legislators, you know, passing a good bill, and there's a bill signing with Governor Walker, where he's signing a bill, he gives out all these wonderful pens, they're all standing behind him. But if Pat Rogensack loses, just picture Shirley Abrahamson, two doors, two, two seats over, stamping it unconstitutional. And that's how the liberals are going to fight us. If we, this way, it is so paramount that we keep this seat so we have a conservative in that position. So I'm just telling you, um, we need to tell your friends, we need to stay involved within this race, and we can't rest until the morning of April 3rd when Pat Rogensack gets elected again for another 10-year term. We also have Rebecca Bradley here. We need to get her elected because we, we need to have good judges in our own county. And, and, and so I, I just want to finally just say, I'm kind of enjoying just sitting here watching a caucus because I haven't been to yours for a while because I've been traveling the state, but I get, you guys have done a wonderful job. Keep up the good work and just have a great caucus. So thank you.